Hey guys, Ana Soto here, also known as Homegirl Can Sell. And in today's video, I will be talking to you about the things that you as a real estate agent should be doing on TikTok so that your business can grow and that you can get more clients. Because at the end of the day, that is what TikTok is here for, not to consume your time and not to waste your time, but for you to make more business. All right, so now if you and I have not met just yet, my name is Ana Soto. I'm also known as Homegirl Can Sell. You can find me on all social media platforms. The number one lead source for me as a real estate agent is social media. And that is a combination of Facebook, Instagram, Google My Business, and TikTok. So how in the world is TikTok gonna get me clients? Because if you know TikTok, you know that when you have a TikTok account, you're gonna be getting followers from all over the country. Now there's two ways you get clients. Number one, if anybody from anywhere in the country reaches out to you about buying or selling a home, guess what? That is a referral lead and you can make some money off of referrals. Number two, one thing that I suggest to realtors with TikTok accounts is that they share their TikTok videos on their Facebook or Instagram stories because people are curious. They're gonna see that watermark and they're gonna go into TikTok and they're gonna see what you have on there. Some of them will follow you, some of them will not, but you are building brand recognition and they are going to have you top of mind and they're gonna know that you are a real estate agent. All right, let's talk about the five things that every real estate agent should be posting on TikTok. And before I begin, if we haven't done so just yet, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any more videos that I put out. Now let's begin. The first type of video that real estate agents should be putting up on TikTok are educational videos. Videos teaching the audience things about buying a sell, selling a home, foreclosures, luxury, anything real estate related. People are actually kind of curious about realtors and what they do for a living. So any behind the scenes that you want to share with them, do it. Uh, make sure that it's done in a very quick, fast, an entertaining moment because TikTok is a platform for entertainment. Whenever you post a video on TikTok, make sure that you're educating your audience. People will follow you if you can inspire them, entertain them, or educate them. When you post videos that are going to inform and educate people, make sure that it's relative to everybody that's watching, not just your local area. The second thing that you should be posting on TikTok and that works for many, many realtors is you have to showcase your personality. What kind of person are you? Don't be stiff. Don't be obnoxiously professional. People don't want to see that side of you. They want to see your goofy, natural, everyday side. So if you are a creator and you have that content, if you have that creativity, go for it. Not everybody has that talent. So if you don't have that talent, stick to education, stick to informative, stick to what works with you. But when you are a brand new agent and you don't know what exactly you should be posting, start with these five things that we're going over right now and eventually you're going to find what hits best with your audience. The third thing that realtors should be posting on their TikTok accounts are their listings. Now putting listings can be a little, little trick. Guys, it's the weirdest thing. People want to see homes. Now, if you're gonna go out there and put a very common basic home, that's not gonna cut it. Now, if you have a house that showcases a very specific feature, or maybe it's a luxury home, for some reason people go crazy over luxury homes, post those videos onto TikTok. Or if you have a listing of a very unique property that you think people would be interested in taking a look at, that is your video tour. Now, you don't necessarily have to do video tours like where I live. We don't have a lot of luxury homes, but we do have homes that are kind of rough. They're old, they're unique, they're antiques. And I know that times that I posted those videos up, I get a lot of likes because it's very different to what people experience in other parts of the world. So you also have to consider what makes this specific listing different than what everybody else out there is watching. You have to be very, very careful about your listing videos that you want to upload onto TikTok because if it's a normal video, it's not going to do good. But if it's something that other people want to take a look at, something that they don't see every day, then that video more than likely is going to do a lot better. 
The fourth thing agents need to be doing on TikTok is that they need to be collaborating with other influencers, whether it's a title representative, another realtor, or maybe a lender. Now, if you find a video that you think is very, very educational, or maybe it's very, very funny, stitch it. Why not? Get a little bit of clout from that very awesome video that is doing great and let it help you. Why not? When you start noticing a trend of challenges, jump on it, make it real estate related. You do need to be consuming TikTok so that you know what the trends are. You have to be very, very cognitive of the time that you're spending on TikTok for your business versus just for your own pleasure. So that is the fourth type of video you should be doing for TikTok is collaborating with influencers, stitching and joining on in challenges. And last but not least, the fifth video that real estate agents should be putting up on their TikTok is sharing their personal stories. If you haven't watched Glenda Baker, who is one of my favorite TikTokers of all time on real estate, that's all she does. She tells stories. If you have a knack at telling stories, then do it. Or maybe even talk about an experience. And when you tell stories, there are so many ways to tell a story. You can get in front of your camera and just talk. Or one of the things I like to do are skits. Skits are really, really fun to do if you know how to do them. Do a skit, tell a story, have people in your video, have family members and friends participate in your skits. Those tend to do very, very well on TikTok as well. Be very creative about how you want to tell a story because the story can also inspire, it can entertain, and ultimately it can also teach a lesson. All right, now let's resume once again with those five things that every real estate agent should be posting on TikTok number one. You should be educating and informing your audience. Number two, you should be doing videos that are going to showcase your personality, things that are going to entertain, things that are gonna make people know who you are. Number three, you should be posting listing videos or property video tours. Number four, you should be collaborating with other influencers. And number five, you should be telling stories. If there are other topics that I did not address in this video, please leave me a comment and let's have a discussion going on. Once again, if you haven't liked or subscribed my YouTube video, please do so now. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.